Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows how you can use the editor in Calibre to help you create good looking EPUBs. And today I'm going to be talking about chapters and chunks. I'm going to teach how you can merge and split chunks and I'm going to teach how you can add and delete chapters. This is an afterword that goes on the back of all the books. And it's broken up into chapters. And every time you go to the next chapter, the same heading is showing as over here in the table of contents. Other books, this one, this one. But now something jumps out at me. It starts out part two. Obviously, it's a series. And here's part three. But although I've got part two, and although I've got part three, what happened to part one? Well, it's not in the table of contents. Let's see if it's even in there. I went to the one up above it, and now I'm going to go down page by page. I'm still in this chapter, and look at that. Not only am I missing one, part one, down here, but I'm also missing introduction to the series. In other words, I wanted to point out something important. Just because there is an H1 heading showing, it will not necessarily be a chapter in your table of contents until you tell it to be one. I will now close the reader and we're going to go to the editor and I'll demonstrate that. This is the editor and it's broken up into chunks. And now you may ask yourself, well, goodness gracious, why don't they just go ahead and call each chunk a chapter heading and name it instead of being uh, enigmatic and esoteric and naming these things sequentially as HTML 00012 and so on. Well, the reason for that is some ebook readers do not do well when you have an extremely large chapter and so it is better if you break that extremely lengthy large item up into chunks. So there may actually be more HTML chunks in the ebook than there are chapters. Well, where do you look at the chapters? Well, you can look at them in, in a couple places. There's an icon here and that'll just list the chapters. There's another way to look at them, and that's down here in the table of contents, but that shows a lot of code. And uh, we're not working with that right now. Instead, we want to be working with adding a chapter and deleting a chapter. For that matter, I'm also going to show how you can add uh, chunks by dividing one big chunk into two or merging them if you want to. Briefly, let's look at this table of contents right here. This is every single item in the table of contents. You can actually reorder them if you want to quite easily. Now, I've got the part two right there and I've got the part three right there, but I'm, I'm missing the part one and the introduction to the series. Let's see if we can find that. I've got it marked right here. And look at this, I've got H1 and that's the series. But remember, it's not yet in the table of contents. As I go down, here is the other H1 that is a part one. Now what can I do about this? Well, it's freeform. You can do anything you want. I'm going to, right now, break up this HTML chunk into two. I don't have to do that, but let's see what I can do. There's an icon down here, and this splits the file at a specified location. After clicking this button, click inside the preview panel above the location where you want it to split. Okay. Okay. That's not the preview panel. That's over here, isn't it?
Let's go right here. All right, I've split it. And now, while, while we were concentrating our eyes over there on the right, on the left, we've got this split up into two chunks. Here is the second one. And here is the first one. This one is going to be the series. And this one is going to be one and this is two. If you want to, if it helps you, you can right click and you can rename and put in the name of that chapter. But I'm not going to bother doing that right now. Instead, let me go over to the chapter heading here and I'm going to create a new entry and I have to find it and I need to type that title right here I could have cut and paste I suppose Now I hit OK. It's at the bottom. So I'm going to move it up. Well, that's one of them. I am now going to hit OK. And I'm going to test it. I want to see if it works. Control S. We will we'll read the EPUB and see if it's in there. And sure enough, I've got the book before it, the introduction to the series. But right here, I don't have part one yet. Let me right arrow on this chapter. And sure enough, right there, I'm going to do this again. Now, normally you'd be doing this all in one chunk, but I'm demonstrating it, and I'm going to go demonstrate it twice. Hopefully, I will get it right this time. Here's a, a split. Here's a split. This is the beginning, right? This is what I this is what I want to put in as the table of contents. So create a new entry. Right here. Hit OK. Now it's in the wrong place. OK. Control S, save. Open it again. I've got now the series, part one, part two, part three. And I did make some kind of a mistake I'll have to correct. I lost the picture. And see this picture right here needs to be over in this chunk. And I can fix that. It's easy enough. Uh, that's enough for this video tutorial. I just need to point out one more time. This listing of chapters is not the same thing 
as the listing of the HTML. The HTML is broken up into chunks. If you wanted to do so, you could have one huge HTML and then you can break that up into separate chapters. Or you can coincide them such that every single HTML chunk is the title of a chapter. You can do it in reverse. You can, you can uh, have more of one and less of the other and vice versa. My name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how to work with the EPUB editor in Caliber. And I thank you very much.